Hi, I'm Anne Nishimura Morse, William and Helen Pound Senior Curator of Japanese Art at the Museum of Fine Arts Boston. For this year's June in Bloom, I will talk about Udagawa Hiroshige's woodblock print, Horikiri Iris Garden, from the series 100 Famous Views of Edo, dated to 1857. Every year at this time, I look forward to successive waves of iris in my garden in Maine. From the stately bearded German iris in early June, to the flights of blue, purple and white Siberians mid-month, and finally to the luscious blossoms of what is commonly called Japanese iris in July. While in Japan itself, there are actually three species of iris, the species that we call Japanese iris in this country is the elegant Hanashobu with its freely falls. The flowers we see here in this woodblock print by the 19th century artist Udagawa Hiroshige. As identified in the red cartouche in the upper right, this print is part of a series, the 100 famous views of Edo, featuring celebrated scenic spots in and around the city of what is now modern day Tokyo. It depicts the gardens of Horikiri, an area to the northeast of the city, celebrated since the late 18th century, when successive generations of the Matsudaira family, very powerful samurai, hybridized iris. They produced over 300 different cultivars and encouraged their commercial growth. Hiroshige focuses our attention on the iris, which are the chief attraction of the Horikiri Gardens, by boldly pushing three stems of blossoms of different varieties with their sword-like leaves into the foreground. Immediately behind them is the rippling water in which they thrive. The blossoms extend upwards almost the entire height of the print. Across the watery channel in the distance, we can see some of the many visitors who traveled from the city center to view the flowers. This particular image is part of a rare collection of Japanese woodblock prints that was carefully assembled by the brothers John and William Spaulding and William's wife Katrina, with the assistance of the architect Frank Lloyd Wright in the early 20th century. When the Spaulding collection was given to the Museum of Fine Arts in 1921, the donors stipulated that the prints could never be exhibited, not even in Boston, so that the images would not be unnecessarily exposed to light. However, the prints have been digitized and here you can enjoy Hiroshige's iris in their nearly pristine, vibrant colors. <laughs>